Hey everyone, Miyasity here. Welcome back. Today I thought we would do another episode of Slay the Spire. This time around, I'm going to be playing for the first time, the Silent. She's a little bit squishier, it looks like, than the Ironclad. However, if she plays anything, I, I know this is a very stupid comparison that I'm going to be yelled at for. But if she plays anything like she does in the Darkest Dungeon mod, which I know was based off of this game, we have ways around uh, her being squishier. So I'm really hoping for things like that. I am really looking forward to her because I really loved her in that. So I'm hoping that I love her as much in this as I did in that. A deadly huntress from the Foglands eradicates foes with daggers and poisons. So that adds up. She, um, <laughs> this is kind of funny. She starts with the Ring of the Snake. At, at the start of each combat, draw two additional cards. So, uh, that was my least favorite trinket just because of how it worked before. But this sounds like it works really well in this game. So let's get to it. Sounds like I'm going to have some fun. So with the Ironclad, I noticed that you could build like my first time mind you and i'm i'm no stranger to these card games so i noticed that there's ways that you can build decks as you move on that like you can build for like a damage build you can build for block builds you can build for various things so i'm wondering if there's going to be like a i can build for poison i can build for daggers different things like that we'll see oh Meow? Like meow? Greetings, I am Meow? The giant whale? The gi giant space whale in a tower? Greetings, I am Meow? The giant space whale in the tower? Okay. Reach their boss to receive more blessings. We'll, we'll take the max HP, I suppose. Granted? Okay, Mr. Spooky Giant Whale Thing with three eyes. I don't think I want to be on his bad side. So I have an elite either way I go there. Otherwise, I have another camp. Elite camp. Honestly, I think I just want to stick to the left side. Hey, it's the cultist. So we have strikes and defend. Dagger strike or defend with our cloak. It's going to do a strategic buff, so we're just going to throw daggers at it. That was a lot of cards to start off with. You do not belong here. That's its ritual. At the end of its turn, gain three strength. Um, Neutralize. Deal three damage. Apply one weak. We will do that. Then I will... Survivor, discard one card. Let's discard a block. Strike and defend because that's what we can do. Hey, we blocked all of it and you got stronger. Yay! Neutralize because that's a free card. I love that. And strike. Defender is all we're going to need, so... Toss that and hit with another strike. I love how he's waving like twig sickles at me. <laughs> twig sickles. Alright, well, since I don't have enough strikes to take him out. Oh! He actually hurt me. Frick. Well, you can have another dagger. Add to my card. Poisoned Stab. There we go. Deal 6 damage. Apply 3 Poison. Poison creatures lose HP at the start of their turn. Each turn poison is reduced by 1. So I deal 3, then 2, then 1. Okay. Deal 8 damage. Draw 1 card. Deal 8 damage. Next turn gain 1 energy. Ooh. So it's giving me 3 different playstyles right off the bat. And quite honestly... <laughs> I know what I liked, the Darkest Dungeon version of it, but I, I'm not sure that's going to work in this. Just based on how I played, I want the Flying Knee. I 
I want to see how that flying knee works. Okay, so we're going to neutralize you, so you do less damage. We're going to defend ourselves, so we take less damage. Flying knee. Okay. I was really hoping that that would do enough damage, but it doesn't look like it. But we can take one of those out next turn. So, that is what it is. We take six damage i guess and next turn we have four energies if i'm understanding that correctly Ooh -hoo -hoo. now we're playing with fire ocd reasons i have to spend my energy okay mr laos apply weak apply damage apply damage you curled up, <laughs> but that didn't do much for you, did it? Okay, I, I do like the flying knee stuff. Um, I'm, I'm probably going to go into a build like that if I can find the right cards. Unplayable, if this card is discarded from your hand, draw two cards. If this card is discarded from your hand, gain one energy. I see. Okay. We can play with that. Deal seven damage, apply one week. I'm going to go with the energy. I see how this is going to work. I think. Um, okay, so we have 12 damage flying at us. We're going to get rid of one of the defense for eight. Now we have 13 and we're going to flying knee. So we have more energy next turn. We're going to take that. Um... It's a spike slime out next turn, and we'll go at the acid slime that just slimed us. Alright, so... I guess just for the damage, because the weekend is going to wear her off, I think. Take you out, and then we can do that. Because block isn't going to do anything. It licked me. <laughs> I'd be a little creeped out if a slime looked me too, to be honest. Alright, exhaust that. And just so it doesn't damage us. I should also get rid of the weak, right? Alright, it's gonna do some shenanigans again. Flying knee, end turn. Then, energize wears off. We're gonna neutralize for the weak. And strike and strike and strike. Just imagine her running up and stabbing a slime and it's slowly coming out and it's like, why won't you die? Oh yeah, you're not bleeding. Discard your hand, draw that many cards. So, that could be really, really good. Or another flying knee. Is there a way to see how that looks plus? I'm guessing it just does more damage, it's not more energy. Uh, or, yeah, calculated gamble. We'll see how that works. Okay, it's gonna do 13 to me, so we're gonna do that, get rid of defend, and defend again, and then strike. That way it doesn't do damage to me. I just thought of something. Okay, so since he's gonna do that, we're going to neutralize and we're gonna calculate a gamble, which should get in us another energy. Then we're, oh, I thought that would get us more cards. Flying knee, strike, I guess defend. Should also get us another energy next turn. Not apply attacks this turn. What? Well, fine. That sucks. <laughs> Alright, uh. Make sure we don't take damage. Oh, 
Okay, that's gonna hurt. Okay, flying knee. Survivor, get rid of a strike. And defend. Because we're vulnerable, that's why it does so much, right? Okay. Neutralize. Defend. Strike. Um, do, 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 do. Strike and strike and finish him off. Liquid Memories. Choose a card in your discard pile and return it to your hand. It costs zero this turn. Riddle with Holes. Deal three damage five times. Deal five damage. Draw one card. Dodge roll. Gain four block. Next turn, gain four block. Let's do Quick Slash. We're staying on the left side for various reasons, so... We're going to neutralize, apply a weak. I wanted to do flying knee. Cause deal eight damage. Um, get one uh, energy next turn. I'm going to try something very, no I'm not. Uh, we're going to do defend, we're going to do defend. We're going to do calculated gamble so I get another energy. And we're going to do quick slash to deal eight damage and draw another card that I can't use. <laughs> so you can probably take out this fungi beast, which does the two vulnerable. Um, but that's fine considering everything. And doesn't look like I can use either any of those, so whatever. That gives it strength. I thought that was a cloud. I didn't realize that was a huge rat that it's growing out of. So neutralize and then... I guess we're just going to do that. Wish we could have done one more. We're hurting a little bit. Quick slash. Flex potion. Gain 5 strength at the end of your turn. Lose 5 strength. I, I guess what that actually does is just make it so you lose the strength that you had gathered. So I like these shift things, but that's not initially what I had wanted to go for. So Smith, that doesn't exhaust it, gotcha. Flying knee, just deals more damage, I'm not interested in that. By two week could be good. So this being innate would just make it at the start of my turn. Out of all of my options, I'm either thinking of Tactician so I get the additional energy, but that is very dependent on me getting some of the other cards to discard it, or Infinite Blade so I get additional shivs, which unfortunately don't give me shivs plus or anything like that. It's just I get more shivs like throughout the entire fight. Oh, you're a big dude. Uh, infinite Blades. We're going to do the Flying Knee. You're going to buff yourself. I only got one energy left, so we're going to do Calculated Gamble. Get more energy. Quick Slash to get another card. I guess we're going to Strike. Enrage. Whenever I play a card, a skill, he gains two strength. Lovely. So we're going to weak him. We're going to shiv him. We're going to strike him. And then we're going to play some defense. Because <laughs> he is not hurting me. Skull bash. Vulnerable. Okay. What do we got? Quick slash. He's got six strength. Lovely. Shiv, this is gonna friggin' hurt. Oh, I'm giving him those strengths by playing my defenses. I didn't realize that. 
I thought defense were considered something else. So gaining five block is really not doing much for me in the long run. Flying knee. We're gonna do the flex potion. We're gonna do a quick slash. I'm in danger. Oh, nope, strike. That takes him out. Alright, bag of marbles. Start of combat. Apply one vulnerable to all enemies. That could be good. Now choose a card. Draw one card. If you draw a skill, gain three block. Leg sweep apply. Ooh, I like that. Let's go deflect. I like the zero cost moves. And then, as much as I would like to smith, we're resting. And this will give me a relic, right? Ancient tea set whenever you enter a rest site, start the next combat with two energy. I'm guessing that's an additional two energy. I'm hoping. So, infinite blades, we're gonna do deflect, because that's, you know, or block there. Let's do quick slash. Um, otherwise, that's nine. That would be 18. That's not enough to take him out. So I'll do survivor. Though we can toss tactician. So survivor was essentially free. I'm up to 12. So I can do that. Flying knee. Shiv. Calculated gamble. Gain three cards. Neutralize. So he only does five. And this isn't going to be enough. But we're pretty close. We're getting there. I don't think I have anything that can heal. So we'll just shiv him down. Wraith form power. Gain two intangible. Oh, I kind of like that one. I kind of like that one. Reduce all damage taken and HP loss to one. So gain two intangible. Not sure if that's going to be like every round or I just gain two. And then at end of your turn, lose one dexterity. So that means... um at the end of every turn, I'm gaining one less block. Which could be bad. But this is a perfect scenario for it. Because... Otherwise, I'm taking 5, 10, 15, 18 damage. And I have no way to block all of that, do I? Eight. Toss that. Thirteen. And that'd be one energy. I suppose I could do that. Screw it, I wanna... No, we're, we're doing this. So that's three energy still. I'm not sure if that intangible only... Oh, it's only for two turns. Gotcha. So let's... Deflect. We're gonna neutralize. Let's calculate it. Gamble the strike away. Quick slash. Strike. Defend. I see how that works now. It, it's a good ace in the hole, I suppose. I'm 
really prefer that not to go back on me. And we're going to take 10 damage because intangible is gone. Glad I figured it out, though. All right, so flying knee, deal eight. You go down. I'm going to have a weak applied to me. And I don't think I can gain block anymore this fight. So neutralize you so you deal less. I can. And tactician to get block back. Gonna shiv you. And then I suppose defend, defend. Gain zero block. Okay. Can get you down. And slice. And I don't feel like using zero block moves. So I do have to be careful of Wraith form, though. I'm glad I figured it out. Very glad I figured it out. Sneaky strike could be really good if I use it right. Infinite blades. Calculated gamble. Sneaky strike is free, so we'll deal 12. 18 actually. And let's get rid of the slaver. Deflect, def defend. I can't use wraith form, and I don't want to use wraith form. There's our shiv. Let's do quick slash. Flying knee. Shiv. Survivor for the block, getting rid of the defend. Oh no, I have weak again. <laughs> and vulnerable, that's actually kind of bad. I think I can take out the slaver though. Should actually probably neutralize the acid slime so it has the weak. It does less damage to me. Oh. Shiv. Block. Block. That way I have 10. Not taking as much. Oh, shoot. I had more energy. <laughs> shoot. I didn't do that right. Well, this is going to suck. Um, hey, this is a good time for Wraith form. Can't do damage to me. I'm going to shiv you. I'm going to strike you. Strike. Block. Get rid. Maybe 12, 20. I should have done that differently, but... Yeah, I think I can still get rid of the slime. So, sneaky strike. Now is free then flying me and shiv it it's down add a card caltrops poison 14 gold campfire rest again 
probably shouldn't, but that's fine. Let's see what's the unknown. From the darkness, an arm pulls you into a small shop. As your eyes adjust, you see a pale woman in sharp clothes, gesturing towards a wall of potion. Buy a potion. Now, she states. Buy one potion. 20 gold. 2. 30 gold. 3. 40 gold. Well, I only have room. Let's buy 3, because I'm not the biggest on poison right now. Strength potion. Sure. Cultist. Gain strength at the end of my turn, and yes, we are... Taking that over the poison. Good. Now leave. You exit the shop. Cautiously. Um, I do want to heal more before the boss. I know I should have been improving, but that's fine. Alright. Hexaghost. 250 health. Enemies intentions unknown. Not attacking. Okay, so. Infinite blades. Caltrops. Flying knee. Oh, because the ancient T set, I had more. Okay. Uh, quick slash. Gonna get rid of the defense. Gain more because of that. A quick strike. Neutralize, and I guess we have to use the defend. What you gonna do, buddy? Five times six, huh? That'd be 30. Okay, so here, here's the plan. We're gonna discard our shiv. Now, sneaky strike is free. Defend, defend, deflect. Probably should use my cultist potion. And honestly, I'm going to use a strength potion. I should have used those already. And the thorns are kind of getting to him. Or the spikes. He's going to deal six. I'm fine with taking the six. So deal nine. Deal nine. Deal 9, deal 7, plus 1 strength. Oh, playable at the end of my turn, take 2 damage. 5 times 2, neutralize, applying a weak. Now he only deals 3 times 2. A survivor, then I can get rid of the defend. And just play these two, so that's 10, and that's 12, gaining energy next turn, and shiv... Unplayable at end of my turn, take two damage on top of his six, so we're going to do that. So that's four. That's nine. So between those two, unless this goes through block, which I'm not sure, that's gonna be eight for my nine. We're fine. So strike, shiv, I guess defend just in case. And fire damage is blocked. Burn still goes through block, good to know. Intends to block and use a buff. Let's shiv. Shiv. Strike. Not sure why I'm defending. So 12 and strength, okay. Quick slash. He's gonna deal 17 to me. 14 to me. Um, this would deal 19. That's not going to be enough. 34. He's already hurt me. send it. Card played twice. 
95 gold, add card to my deck. When this card is played, your next skill is played twice, but it takes one. Deal 13 damage to all enemies for one. Next turn, your attacks deal double damage. We're taking that. Choose a relic. Busted crown. Gain energy at the start of your turn. Future card rewards have two less to choose from. That scares me a bit. Calling bell upon pickup. Unique curse and three relics. During boss and elite combats, gain one energy at the start of your turn. I would like that very much. So it's between that and the calling bell and I think I'd rather have the energy for tougher fights. Thirteen minutes faster than my other run. That's a uh, something. Alright, we got a merchant there. And an uh, unknown that could be good. Then an elite. Campfire merchant. Chest campfire. Now well, let's run up the middle. See what happens. Thievery, thievery. Excuse me. Looter and a mugger. Both sound like pricks. 10 and 10. So what I should probably do is... Oof, I hate to use Wraith form. Um, so this would deal 18. I can use it for free if I pop Survivor for the 8. Getting rid of... A Actually, I should have gotten rid of Wraith form there. But, like I said, popping that. So he's down to 30. I should probably use Infinite Blades for later. And then in defend just for that. So now I only take 7 damage. And they still steal coins no matter what. So I wonder at what point they're going to like try to run away or something. Because that's generally something they do in games like this so that'll deal three to him shiv him deflect strike Ooh, this is gonna hurt okay that is not filling up it looks like Phantasmal, or not Phantasmal, um, weaken him. Flying knee, that'll get me. I can take out this looter. Then I'm going to take 12 from that looter. The mugger, rather. And then if I Phantasmal Killer, I might be able to take him out on my next turn, because they'll all deal double damage. So he's going to do something I probably don't like. So we're going to Shiv him, Quick Slash, Strike, Strike. Hopefully I get my money back. I do. Okay. Dagger Spray, deal 6 damage to all enemies twice. I like that it's upgraded already. Draw a card, discard a card. For free, sure. Then we'll go to the unknown. Merchant, thank you. Okay. Uh, choke, deal 12 damage whenever you play this card. Loot enemy. Oh, that's kind of a double thing. Um, exhaust up to 3 cards in your hand. Exhaust. Start of your turn, add a random colorless card to your hand. Malaise, enemy loses X strength, apply X weak, exhaust. At start of your turn, apply two poison to all enemies. That'd be good for a poison build. At start of each combat for plated armor would be good. But honestly, I think what I want to do is get rid of some of these defends. Thank you. To the next unknown. Oh, these buggers. Uh, Caltrops will help greatly.
Then we're going to infinite blades. Phantasmal killer. Calculated. That gets me another. Survivor. And now I only take like seven damage while they hurt themselves against my Keltrops. Honestly, that one goes down on his turn. So I only need five block. Neutralize zero times five. Awesome. Okay. Uh, prepared. Discard that. Then shiv. Strike. 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 I'm guessing that's a strength for him. That's fine. Caltrops take out that one. That's absolutely hilarious. Quick slash. Shiv. Strike. All right. That was one I was actually a little afraid of at first. Endless Agony. Deal six damage whenever you draw this card. Add a copy of it into your hand. Exhaust. Interesting. Deal 12 damage, draw one card, discard one card. 12 damage, that's... In, I mean, one energy, that's pretty good for draw and discard. Because there's things I need to discard. Yeah, let's go with the dagger throw plus. Merchant. Let's see here. Hand of Greed could be good. I want to see these. Each combat start with one Dexterity. Dexterity improves the block gain from cards. A little expensive for that, but... I can't get that and the card removal, which I would really like to keep on doing some of these. So I think it would be more worthwhile to get rid of a Defend. All right. We're going to do prepared. Get rid of calculated, or not calculated, uh, wraith form. Keltrops. Quick slash on the cultists so they don't build up too much. Infinite blades, calculated gamble. All right. We'll take 10 damage, I suppose. That's not great, but... Now, six from him. One from him. Flying knee, shiv, strike, cultist deal six and get stronger. And we get debuffed. Some negative effect. I'm guessing it's going to be a vulnerable. Oh, it's the Hex. So we're going to get dazed. Alright, so... Shiv. Neutralize the one that's going to do more damage to us. Deflect, which... Yep, daze. I can use both of these. So Phantasmal Killer, another daze. Defend, another daze. And then Sneaky Strike will take out the Cultist, so we, we're fine. Too vulnerable, so we take 50% more damage, and he's going to try to take us out. Draw one, discard one, we'll get rid of a daze. Which I think these get removed on my turn anyway, but it's really hoping for something with block. Because yikes. Not 
prepared, get rid of Wraith form. Flying knee, so we have more energy. Shiv it. Strike. Probably shouldn't have done that because now we have another days. However, strike, strike, shiv. Two health, yay! Yes, we will take Piercing Whale Plus. Um, <laughs> I wanted to go to the Elite, but we're going to the campfire. And resting. I think I want to go to the Merchant again. You happen upon a group of what looks like purple fire spirits dancing around a large bonfire. Spirits toss small bones and fragments into the fire, which brilliantly erupts each time as you approach. Spirits turn to you expectantly. Offer a reward based on the offer. So if it's a small bones and fragment, it's not like something big. I wonder if I have to offer something small rather than something large. In which case, let's uh, get rid of a strike. Oh, you toss an offering into the bonfire. Nothing happens. The spirits seem to be ignoring you now. Disappointing. But it seems like I got rid of that, so I mean, I'm I'm good with it. <laughs> that Apothis card seems really good. I can get Burst again. Dramatic Entrance seems awesome too. Um, card Removal Service would be most of what I have. I'm torn between Card Removal Service and getting Burst. I, I want to get my deck to lower amounts. So let's get rid of a defend. That way I'm getting the more important cards better. Or more important cards more often. Varja, start each combat with one strength. All right. Considering I can get a lot of cards very quickly, that's kind of good. Ooh. I don't trust the Mystic. All right, so um, if I'm going to take eight damage, first of all, we'll get the shivs going. Then Dagger Throw, get rid of Wraith Form. I wouldn't need to block if I did Piercing Whale, but let's Quick Slash first. I've already discarded a card, so sneaking st Sneaky Strike is free, dealing 19. And Calculated Gamble. Strike, it goes down. Neutralize Applying a Weak, not that it matters, and all right, that was awesome. All right, he's going to deal 12. Let's do this. Discard a strike. I'm gonna do Caltrops. I'm gonna do one of my defends. I'm gonna pop the Shiv on him. We're gonna Phantasmal Killer for next round, and he's gonna do seven to me. Okay. 12 again, so we're gonna discard. Tactician, so that's free. Then we're gonna get our block up. We're gonna flying knee. Gonna prepared. Discarding the shiv for now. Dagger throw. I can take him out. Strike, strike. Power potion. That'll be handy. 
Terror sounds very fun. Let's basically apply vulnerable for the rest of combat. Otherwise, four shivs could be awesome. What? And I already have Sneaky Strike how I like it. But yeah, look, let's go Terror. To the merchant. Not sure why I went to the merchant. I can't get anything I want and I can't sell cards, so. It was because I wanted the rest of this. Ooh, three cultists. You know, this isn't innate. Why do I keep getting it at the start of combat? Um, okay. Quick slash. Draw a card. We're going to dagger throw. Discarding survivor for now. Oh, I can't use sneaky strike. Calculated gamble. Neutralize just because it's extra damage, and that's that. This may hurt. I probably can get rid of one cultist this round, but the rest. Yikes. I see a plan. Okay, um, they're each gonna do six. Can't do too much about that. But what I can do. He has 12. So if I do shiv and then strike, he's down. Can then do tear, so I can just immediately destroy him and then phantasmal killer, so I do double damage. Especially to the guy who has vulnerable. <laughs> I'll take the 12. Which is not great, but you know, whatever. Prepared. Discard Tactician for the three, or the free energy. Uh, we'll do 39 damage to the cultist. And discard a defend, I suppose. Use deflect. Shiv him. We have nine, we have thorns. We need 12 this time around. Quick slash. Not what I was hoping for, but we might be able to work with it. Shiv for the five. Yeah, he's going to do the damage to me no matter what, because I didn't use Wraith form. But flying knee. Phantasmal killer. This going to hurt. But well, we got him this turn, so I can do 22 damage, I think. <laughs> Piercing Whale wouldn't do too much, would it? All right, so 14. 14, he's down. Fear Potion. Three vulnerable. Awesome. Blur Plus. Or Adrenaline. Gain energy, draw two cards. Let's go Adrenaline. I don't see ways to discard cards for Sneaky Strike or Tactician. So Infinite Blades. And do Piercing Whale so they don't do damage to me. Can do flying knee so we gain energy on our next turn. And that's that. And then they don't do damage. I don't have thorns, so they're not going to take damage for doing that, unfortunately. We'll see how this works. Neutralize, you don't do damage. Caltrops. Shiv. Strike. Strike. Just because I can. So bird goes down on next turn. I get hexed, I believe that is. So I got to be a little careful with what I use. Oh. Uh, I think it's going to make itself stronger. Quick slash. 
Shiv. Calculated gamble, we're gonna get a hex. Phantasmal killer. Adrenaline. Terror. <laughs> I'm just loading myself here. Dagger throw. Toss the days. Toss the days. All right. Yeah, it gave itself a strength. That might be bad. So two times five and eight times two. So. We'll get rid of the chosen. And we can neutralize you so you do less damage. Only doing five, and then you'll take yourself out on the thorn. I really like Dagger Throw. Fletchet could be good, but we're gonna go Dagger Throw again. Rest at the campfire again, and it's Basso time. The champ. <laughs> By three vulnerable power potion. Let's get the powers going right away. Uh, at the start of my turn, apply two poison. I think that will do better on him. Infinite blades. We're going to neutralize him. Deflect four of the damage. So we're only taking eight. I'm gonna dagger throw. Get rid of defend. Calculated gamble. Flying knee. Now he doesn't damage us. Unfortunate that we didn't use all the energy, but whatever. Draw two guards, cards, gain one energy. Caltrops, tear him so he has all of the vulnerable. I think this means Sneaky Strike can be played, not that it's zero cost. So I'm going to be a little careful here. Uh, Shiv dealing five. Phantasmal Killer. Yeah, we're going to Piercing Whale him. And if it's between Strike and Sneaky Strike, I'm going to do Sneaky. Face Slap. <laughs> uh, okay, what's this one? Frail gain 25 less block for... Two turns, okay. He's gonna deal 24, that's gonna hurt like heck. So we're gonna quick slash to see what we get. Gonna prepare to toss tactician. Dagger throw. Toss a strike. <sighs> Shoot. And he has three poison, so he's only losing three. Shiv dealing 10. Guess we'll Wraith form. Take the no damage. Not that neutralize is going to do much weak wise, but it's free damage. Roll prepared to toss tactician. Phantasmal killer strike give survivor. Unfortunate that. <laughs> we didn't get a free thing off intangible there. 
Looks like he's going to buff himself again. Quick slash. Deflect. Shiv. Dagger throw. We're going to toss defend since we discarded something. We gain two energy for using sneaky strike. Lying need to get more energy. Strike again. Defensive stance. Okay, well, he's got a lot of block. He's going to buff himself again. Phantasmal Killer, Shiv. Unfortunate, but Sneaky Strike, Defend, Deflect. Defeat, Impossible. Oh. Well, uh, that's almost going to take me out. Well, let's see what Dagger Throw does. He, I didn't notice that he got rid of his uh, poison there. That's not great. All right, toss one of the strikes. Real quick slash him. Draw another card. Prepared. Toss a strike. Survivor. Actually, we can play this a little better. So shiv him. Flying knee, get energy next turn. Then Survivor, toss the strike. He has 50. And uh, yeah, th this is going to hurt. This is going to hurt. And it's, um, I think I can get him. So first, neutralize. Dagger throw. Toss the defense. Sneaky strike is free. Strike. Strike. Shiv. Didn't expect to get this far. Alright, 100 gold. Attack potion. Gives me an attack card that works for free. Okay, both after image and a thousand cuts could be really good. But based on how I play, after image is going to keep me alive. Ring of the Serpent replaces Ring of the Snake. At the start of your turn, draw an additional one card. Sacred Bark doubles the effectiveness of Potion, so I'm assuming that would give me two attack cards and then six vulnerable. Gain one energy at the start of your turn. You can no longer see enemy intents. No, uh, Ring of the Serpent. The Beyond. Oh boy. Oh, I, I healed at the end of that. Thank you. I didn't realize that was a thing. Didn't notice it before. So if I go here, Merchant, Elite, Merchant, Unknown. We're riding up the middle again. Life Link. Okay, I gotta read this. Life Link, if other enemies are still alive, revives in two turns at 50 HP. Oh, so I got to be careful about taking them all out at once. Gotcha. Uh, adrenaline. Gain energy, draw two cards. It's going to deal eight to me. We're going to flying knee so that we gain energy next turn. And I think I'm just going to block that damage coming to me for now. Twelve. Okay. They have varying health. That's kind of interesting. I just noticed that. Uh, we are going to neutralize the one that's going to deal more damage. I just noticed that they have different icons for aggressive. So is that like a... Like poke rather than I'm going to end you? <laughs> I don't know. Um, okay, so... Ooh, there's a few things I could do here. Let's do prepared. I'm going to get rid of Wraith form. That makes Sneaky Strike free.
dagger throw. Gonna get rid of the other dagger throw. Not blocking for much. And we're just gonna keep the calculated gamble. I'm hoping that that block goes away. All right. While I was kind of working away at that one. Now, kill them all on the same turn then, I guess. There's the after image I wanted. There's Caltrops. And I guess Phantasmal Killer. And then we'll shiv you. Neutralize you because you're doing as much damage and have health. We quick slash you. It's actually just piercing whale as well. And then Shiv Dagger Throw? I can't use anything else. In two turns. Okay, so I could finish these two off, then finish the dar other Darkling off. Or, conversely, finish this one off because it's the one that's no, because then they're going to get blocks. So. Seven, seven. Yeah. Okay, so finish you off with one card. Gets me calculated gamble, which I don't really want, but we'll also just get rid of defend. Then shiv first. Strike, strike, shiv, probably deflect, calculated gamble, and I didn't get what I wanted. And I have to get rid of the Darkling on this turn. Which is only 16 health. So sneaky strike, shiv. Not horrible, but it makes you think. We're taking Flying Knee. Thinking about it in the long run, it might be better for me to skip some of those cards, too. Tome of the Red Lord Mask. A highly ornamented tome can be seen on the other side of a floating path. Upon reaching the tome, you notice a slot for gold coins with a scratched out inscription above it. Locked required red mask, offer 204 coins, lose all gold, get one relic. At the start of combat, apply one week to all enemies. Oh, that's it for 204? No, I'll leave. That didn't seem worthwhile to me because at the start of combat isn't generally when I'm afraid of high damage. Uh, Infinite Blade, Caltrop. Phantasmal Killer, and we will neutralize. Repulsor, Repulsor, Spiker sounds more dangerous. It also has spikes, thorns. Okay, good to know. Repulsor might have been the one that will damage me more. And they're going to daze me quite a bit. He gets a lot of thorns. I need to deal with him quickly with high damage attacks. Gotcha. After image. Survivor to get rid of the days. Okay, so that would be 10, so it would only be 30. So let's instead do this.
and one repulsor is almost down and I have enough block to block whatever it was going to do, but we're going to get more dazes. All right. Adrenaline. It's got seven now. Deflect. Five. So it's got seven. I can hit it once and not take damage. So then I should probably focus on the other repulsor for now. And it's going to get more spikes. So now it has nine. Interesting. Prepared. I'm gonna toss the days. We're gonna defend ourselves so we don't take as much damage. And this would deal 13. This deals 13. Oh boy, this is gonna hurt. Dagger throw first. Toss a days. Shiv. No. Sneaky strike you. Calculated gamble. Get two more. It's not what I wanted, so we're going to end. And it did damage to itself. Now I can build up some block again. Prepare to get rid of a daze. If I piercing whale. I don't think that gets rid of the strength of the thorns, but it does get me another because of um, after image there. And then I just have to take the one damage. Okay, I like backstab. That could deal a lot of damage right off the bat, and it's free. The Maw. Oh boy, okay. Backstab does 18. Um, we're going to do... Quick Slash. It's going to do some kind of negative effect on me, so we're going to do Tear. That way it has 100 turns of Vulnerable. And I'm just going to try to rip it apart. Frail and Weakened. Gotcha. Five damage off the bat after Image. Shiv. That way I have one block. I have all the blocks I need. I'm going to Caltrop, so when it attacks me, it takes damage. And then Dagger Throw to discard Tactician. Dagger Throw to discard Strike. And unfortunately, Calculated won't do anything there. Okay. Phantasmal Killer. Weaken you. Uh, Survivor just makes Sneaky free, so we'll get rid of Defense. Sneaky. Never mind, not enough energy. Ooh, it got strength, that's not good. Well, we got options, okay. This is free, gives me energy, draw two cards. Prepare. Get rid of strike. Thinking, thinking, piercing whale would only lower it by 8. I would still take 20. Let's do dagger throw. Discard that. Okay. Wraith form. Only take one. Calculated gamble. Neutralize. Block 
blocked that. Got one more turn of it. Dagger throw. Get rid of strike. Sneaky strike is now free. Flying knee for energy. Shiv. Don't need any of those. I'm guessing more strength. Okay, that's, um, that's gonna hurt. Quick slash. Prepared. Get rid of a strike. Actually, I should have gotten rid of tactician. I didn't see that necessarily there. Increasing whale. Deflect. Defend. So now I have 10, 11, 12, 23. Could have played that one better. So if I don't do something here, I lose. Ninety-five damage is the mark I need. So we're gonna do the attack potion. So if I did choke right off the bat, that would do twelve. Then I could do a few other attacks, so that would be 15, 18, 24 damage just from this card. Then shivs are going to be 5 apiece, so that's 31. Draw a card, plus 10, so 41. Best case scenario, knee is 51. I'm going to gamble. Because we also have that on it. So choked. Shiv. Because I wasn't counting the Voln on it. Dagger throw. Don't screw me. Okay, get rid of defend. Neutralize. It's going to be weakened. Flying knee. It does more damage. And unfortunately... Oh, wait. Yes, we did get it. Ooh, a little close. I don't feel like Noxious Fumes would go too well into this build, but neither would any of these, and I feel like this would just clog things up, so let's skip. Merchant. Okay. Sadistic nature, whenever you apply a debuff to an enemy, they take five damage. That's a good power because I have a lot of things that do that. Otherwise, I can grab Jizu Bracelet. Normal enemies combats are no longer encountered in whatever rooms upon pickup. Raise max HP by seven and heal all HP. I think I need that. I think I need that. Then I want to go to, from the elite to the merchant again. But I don't really have the gold, so I'll see how the, this goes after the merchant. Nemesis. Oh, okay. Aggressive six times three. Neutralize. Infinite blades. This does 12 now. Um, we're gonna dagger throw. Yeah, I'll, I'll just piercing whale. Probably shouldn't have done that, but at least it doesn't damage me this time. And then we'll backstab and it's down 52 health already. Oh god, intangible. So I'm gonna use this as a buffing turn. Adrenaline, Phantasmal Killer, get more energy next turn, Dagger Throw, Terror, no, don't, don't discard Terror, discard Block, or Defend, Terror it, so I'm only going to do one damage because of that, I'm going to... Thank you. 
because I, I know it's going to do something next turn. I don't keep energy throughout turns, so might as well just do the two damage I could. Oh, that's a lot of burns. It's going to do 45 to me. Okay, prepared. Get rid of Tactician. We have six energy, so we're going to Quick Slash. And then a Caltrop. Shiv. Honestly, Wraith Form only does one damage. And then if I... That I had more energy. One damage is one damage. And that got intangible. Does it do intangible every turn? Or every time it takes damage? Right, after image. Quick slash. Honestly, I'll get rid of Deflect to keep get extra stuff here. So if I Dagger Throw, can get rid of the Burn, then Flying Knee for the extra energy. Oh boy. It's going to debuff me again. We're going to prepare. Get rid of Tactician. Phantasmal Killer. Shiv it. Neutralize it. And get rid of the burn. So I don't take damage. And if it doesn't intangible again, I can get it. Spoke too soon because there went my... Flying knee for extra damage. This is gonna freaking hurt. Dagger throw, please give me something. Oh, this is gonna hurt. And the thorns didn't even do enough. Quick slash. Let's just take him out this turn before he can do anything. Yeah, sneaky will do it. Ow. Maw bank. When, whenever you climb a floor, gain 12 gold. No longer works when you spend any gold at a shop. Okay. Nightmare. Choose a card. Nightmare. Choose a card. Next turn, add three copies of that card into your hand. I see a use for this. <laughs> Um, so I was going to go to the merchant, but if the Ma Bank does that and I need gold anyway, we're taking a side trip. Well, infinite after image. <laughs> Let's. Oof. On one hand, I could tear or throw dagger and hopefully get something free to use. On the other hand, I could tear and just make this faster. So uh, we'll, we'll tear into backstab dealing 18 and then weaken him. That's a lot of damage coming at me. Piercing well. Then I'm gonna Survivor. If I can't use Sneaky Strike, we're tossing it. Shiving. And I want the extra energy next turn. Actually, that's 14. 
19. Doing this will bring me 16, 17 because of after image. Let's play it safe. Interesting. Quick slash. Not at all what I was hoping for, but shiv. Deflect isn't going to help out, so calculated gamble. That gets us extra energy, adrenaline rush, two extra cards. Not how I was hoping to use this card. Ah, uh, flying knee, that We'll just strike to get rid of him, then flying knee there. Caltrops. Anytime they attack us, it'll deal extra damage. Not that they do multiples, but that is fine. Prepared. Get rid of the defend and then strike. Oh, they got more strength. Yay. Yay. 20 and 20. Hey, it was the card I was hoping for. Now I'll do a dagger throw. Not that I can use that, but... Deflect, shiv. Now they can't hurt me with their 9 strength. Because I'm doing this way too slow, I think, is my problem. I am aware of some of the issues that are going on here. All right, so what happens here is if I survivor for this, I get the free blocks and I get my energy back. And then this becomes free. I can neutralize you. And I can flying knee, take you out, and then I can shiv. And we're good. Now we just have one jaw worm left. We're going to prepare. Get rid of the defend. And do something a little silly here. Unless 13. It's 25. I can actually take it out this turn. Never mind. I was going to try something, but. I was thinking that I could use the nightmare on the dagger throw and just get a bunch of extra um, cards and stuff like that, but that works. Now let's get prepared plus. It's basically extra cards for free, so that works. Wish I was playing better so I could actually upgrade my cards, but that's fine. Bottled flame upon pickup, choose an attack. Start each combat with this card in your hand. Well then, I already have backstab. So I'm thinking either flying knee because it's a high damage that gives me next turn energy or dagger throw. Let's go the flying knee plus. And then I wanted to go up the middle here because unknown elite campfire. Otherwise, it's merchant that I now don't really want to because the mob bank. So I kind of want to bank on that as much as possible. As you head upwards, hopping from one floating shape to another, you slip. You begin to fall. While in free fall, you consider your options. Land safely with your greatest techniques. Channel power to survive the fall. Strike at the wall to hang on to it. Land, lose calculated gamble. Channel, lose wraith form. Strike, lose quick slash. Ooh. All of those are kind of good, but if I have to lose one of these, wraith form has saved me more than once. Calculated gamble. I could upgrade that would be even better. So quick slash is the worst or the least valuable to me. You are able to latch onto the wall and manage to make a short hop onto another stable platform.
five energy as a start. We'll do infinite blades again. I'm going to do... Okay. So if this works how I think it's going to, I really need to just get that spiker out right now. Um, the exploder might be bad. Ex oh, explodes in three turns dealing 30 damage. So let's actually get rid of him. So dagger throw, deal 15 damage to him. I'm going to toss the defend actually. Because he's going down right now. So flying knee. Then we're going to eat our spikes. Because backstab. Sneaky strike. And the spiker is almost down. Now we're going to get him upgraded with his thorns. And then we're going to get a bunch of dazes. And then hopefully we can take out the spiker. And only have to deal with repulsors. So I'm going to after image. I'm going to prepare. Paired. I'm gonna get rid of piercing whale. We're gonna deflect. Alright, dagger throw, he goes down on one hit. We still have blocks. I'm gonna get rid of calculated gamble because I plan on using all of that. Caltrops again. Shiv strike. Nose dazes. Alright. So first of all, a flying knee. Let's do that one that's going to attack us. Maybe we can take it out. I'm going to adrenaline. Maybe we can get something that'll do a vol. No. Shiv. If I do survivor, we don't take damage. Phantasmal Killer, so we do double damage and probably take him out on the next turn. Okay. So what do we got here? Not at all what I was hoping for. But Strike. Shiv. Tear. 21 of 22. We'll get some dazes, and we take it out on its turn. I mean, for the first time playing the silent, I think I'm doing okay. <laughs> uh, okay, slice, zero does nine damage. Infinite blades would be good. Predator, deal 20 damage. Next turn, deal... Next turn, draw two additional cards. I really like the concept of this, but it is so expensive and I don't have enough energy stuff going to me right now. But if I could do slice and get rid of some of my strikes, I wouldn't mind this at all. So let's do that. I know my deck is getting a little too big for comfort right now. Giant head. Slow. Whenever you play a card, giant head receives 10% more damage from attacks this turn. Interesting. So I want to deal whatever do does the least. I have a very stupid idea. We're going to Nightmare into Infinite Blades. And I can get a bunch of shivs for that then. Um, so infinite blade, so I get shivs, and then I'm gonna neutralize into a backstab. Four. So this is where things are gonna get a little wonky. think what I need to do is play these like I had wanted. 
we're going to adrenaline rush to get more energy and draw more cards. Then dagger throw to draw a card, discard a card. Dropping the defend. And oof. Just because this might be a really long one otherwise, I'm going to energy potion. I'm going to tear it, then we're going to survivor, dropping the wraith, so I have some block and that doesn't absolutely destroy me. We're then going to shiv it, slice it, and then flying knee. So I have energy on my next turn. I think I have to do something before that timer is up. So here's a bunch of shivs for it. Dagger throw. Um, I'm gonna calculate and gamble the after image or the deflect away anyway. So let's. Do this. Sneaky Strike is now free. Calculated Gamble. Hopefully that's all right. Nope, that was not worth it. It's at two now. It's going to do something. Phantasmal Killer. Probably want a Piercing Whale, but let's... Paired first. Get rid of a strike. Piercing whale. Get some room here with their cards. I'm going to do prepared again. So if it's doing five, I definitely want their survivor. Deal seven, deal three, deal three in one week. So we'll get rid of the shivs for now. And then do this. Okay. I don't want to know what happens at zero. I really don't want to know what happens at zero, but I don't know if I can do the 200 damage. <laughs> Shiv away. 18, 19. It's going to deal 30. So, what I think I want to do is Wraith Form. So, it deals zero damage. I throw in Dagger then. Um, actually, no, what I'll do is Strike. No. Dagger throw for the damage. So then we can toss Tactician. Now I have energy. If I dagger throw again, we deal a bunch of damage. And I can get whatever. And then we can just do that. Yeah, it's trying to murk me now. But unfortunately, for it, we got it. Yay! Toxic Egg. Whenever you add a skill into your deck, upgrade it. Thank you. A uh, blur would be the better version of the block, and I'm kind of needing block stuff right now. Otherwise, I could get quick slash, which I think would draw two cards. Let's see what the unknown is, and then I can go to the fight and then the campfire. 
While walking and traversing through the chaos of this player, your thoughts suddenly begin to feel very real. Imaginings of monsters and riches begin to manifest themselves into reality. The sensation is quickly fleeting. What do you do? I am war. Fight a boss from Act 1. Gain a rare relic. I am awake. Upgrade all cards. You can no longer heal. I am healthy. Heal to full HP. Curse. Doubt. We're going for a rare relic. Slime boss. Split when its HP is at 50 at or below 50% will split into two smaller slimes. Slime boss's current HP. Okay. It's going to try to debuff us. I'm doing infinite blades. We're going to do quick slash. We can't do nightmare, but we're going to do flying knee. I'm going to do phantasmal killer and we're going to backstab him. Oh no, goop. Yikes. Okay, prepared, get rid of Tactician. Sneaky Strike is now free. I think that means he's splitting. Um, Shiv. If he's splitting, I need to do more damage to him, so let's tear. Adrenaline. Dagger throw. Caltrops. Dagger throw. Wow. He didn't split. Unceasing top. Whenever you have no cards in your hand during a turn, draw a card. Skill potion and another card. So I guess quick slash was only plus damage. I mean, another sneaky strike wouldn't be bad. I suppose dealing weak wouldn't be bad either. So they do less damage. Dies in five turns. That might... Oh, I see how this works. Okay. So it does 30 damage. That's flying me for more energy. Adrenaline for more cards. Infinite blades, just because I can. And let's try to get some block stuff going. Dagger throw. Discard nightmare. Oh. Upon losing HP, loses that much strength until the end of turn. Okay, good to know. So I just need to deal like 40 damage a turn. <laughs> I say, like, that's a thing I can do. Slice deals 10. Shiv deals another 5. Strike. Deflect. Piercing Whale. Survivor. No damage. Dies in 3. At the end of its turn, gains 40 strength, so now it deals 50 to me. So after image, Caltrops may actually help me out here. No, it won't. Uh, prepared. Let's get rid of, sadly, I have two. So let's get rid of Caltrops. I'm going to want Sucker Punch so that then we're applying weak. So we already applied weak. We don't need the Sucker Punch. Shiv it. See if we can't get something useful from Quick Slash. Wraith form, no. Um, so honestly, apply another week to it. 18 damage gonna hurt. Probably could have grabbed the skill potion, but that's fine. Rather have that for the boss. Okay. This I can deal with. Slice, backstab, dagger throw, dagger throw, and 
Flying knee will do enough. So flying knee. Prepared. We'll toss that. And just so I don't draw shivs because those are a little off to draw. I'd rather not. 70. Sucker punch for the weak. Phantasmal killer isn't going to do much for me, but we can shiv. Strike. So I'm at 27. I'm not going to be in a good place, but I probably should put the fear potion on him. None of these are good. I wonder what happens if you can, like, actually take him out. Whenever I add a skill into my deck, upgrade it. I misread that, so some of these have not been great because of that. We're going to skip that. Campfire. Rust. Boss time! Yay! Oh! The Awakened One. Is that like a raven with a knife in its chest? Okay. So I am going to put Tear on it because it is the one I want to get rid of the most. We're going to put Caltrops on so we do damage back. We're going to Infinite Blades. And then they're the ones I'm probably going to want to deal with first. But Curiosity, whenever you play a power card, gains one strength. The enemy hasn't awakened yet. End of its turn, regain 10 HP. Okay. So Flying Knee... Backstab, strike. Oh, shoot. I forgot about the top. I could have kept going. I'm taking one out. It's not great. That's probably going to be my loss because of that. All right. Uh, shiv you down. Put Vulnerable on you. Adrenaline for the energy. Oh, can I only have six? Interesting. Neutralize you. Prepared. Toss Nightmare and Strike. Dagger Throw. Rid of a defend. Piercing whale. You do all less. Probably should have kept some other stuff. Sneaky strike does more. Get rid of you. And quite honestly, we're going to try this again now that I remember it. All right. You're going to do 22 to me. So we're going to sucker punch you to weaken you. We're going to dagger throw to toss tactician for the energy. Shiv you. Prepared. Cal calculated gamble is great, but I'm going to keep what we got. Phantasmal killer. Quick slice. Slash after image. Oh, I didn't think about this. I did not think about this. That's loss, right? I don't have a way to get more block. Well, that was fun.
vanquished a familiar feeling. Oh, I got an unlock. Cards unlocked. Bane deals 7 damage. If the enemy has poison, deals 7 again. Double the enemy's poison. Exhaust. Apply 6 poison when the enemy dies. Deals damage equal to max HP to all enemies. Okay, well, that makes poison builds sound a lot more fun. So in the future, if I do another silent, I might do a poison build just based on those. Oh, and we got new character. So, I might do a run with... I'll probably do a run with him next. Um, you all will have to let me know. Uh, because I will probably post these before I... Like, do... Extra runs. If you want to me to show, like... Me unlocking more stuff. Because I, I really actually enjoy this game. Before, like, I do, like, a final run or something like that with everyone. Or some of the extra mumbo jumbo and get to the modded stuff. I'm just having fun right now, like playing the actual game. The defect, that's what I unlocked. So he has a little more health, it looks like, than the silent. His head is a little weird. It looks like a stamped plate with orbs in it. <laughs> a combat automaton, which has become self aware. Combat technology allows manipulation of orbs. Cracked core at the start of each combat channel, one lightning. Okay. Well, oh, I don't want to mess around with seeds. I, I want my thing to be random. I, I know I mentioned I'd probably get into the modded stuff because that's a lot of what I do with some of the other games, but I really wanted to play through this on the vanilla just to get a handle on the game, handle on the character, see which characters I like to see if there was anything else I wanted to look for, things like that. So you'll have to let me know, because if you don't want to see more of Slay the Spire, I'll play it on my off time and not put that up on the channel. If you want to see more of it, if you like want to see me unlocking this stuff, let me know about that. Or if you just want to see some modded stuff in the future, I'll play this on my own, unlock the stuff, then get to the modded stuff and post that. So let me know your thoughts on that. I know that could be a very big thing because this game is already pretty old and I'm just kind of having fun off on my own here posting this as like a little side project on the weekends. That'll be it for this time. As always, I wish you all well. I'll see you next time and please have a good one.